I'm Andy Willing, and I'm here to teach you how to change your boring old Sony VCL E07A 0.7 wide-angle lens into a fisheye lens as cool as mine. Oh! To do this, all you need is the lens, a jeweler screw, a Phillips head, some electrical tape, and the rest of the adapter rings. So I don't think I need this. Alright, so let's get to modifying it. So, what you first do is, you see these little two screws on either side? You remove those. You take it all apart here. Now, be careful not to lose these screws because these screws are tiny and it's not really fun to lose them and try finding them. So, you take all this apart here and what you got left, and leave the screws in there just so you don't lose them, and you get these components, right? So what you do is, when you start off, you have the flat end, and you have the concave end. Now normally, when it starts off, the flat end is the part that's facing forward on the lens, but this time, you just simply turn it around and you put it back on this little thing with the markings on it. Alright, now you simply put them all together like so and there's these little things, these little notches on the side of this. Just line them up with the screw hole, with the screw hole and then put this thing on top and it should be fine. I just screwed these in but there's a little problem here. See this? It's uh, it's not quite going to fit. It's going to start moving around and when you have optical Im image stabilization on your camera that is going to really piss you off especially doing skate films which is what I do. The key to fixing that problem is very simple. You take something and you fill in the little crease there. Now I used pieces of electrical tape. Um, I think they were about yay big, though they could be longer. And I put them, made them up and I rolled it up into these little rolls here. Now what you do is see the little crease behind the this part and the lens? You just take the things and you put them in to the little crease there. And you have a snug little fit there. You can't see them well in this lighting, but... You know. Alright. So now you got that. Then you take the screws. Pure and sticking out so you get the maximum fish IE. Now, with just the adapter ring, this is how it looks. It's very nice, but um, we can go a little bit more fisheye. Now there's going. Now you notice there's still a little bit of a crease on the around the sides, your blind spot on, on the lens, but there's less of it in this setup. So if you want to stick with that and have less of those blind spots, stick with this setup. But if you want even more, then keep watching. Continuing to watch. Now. Um, when you want to get more, you take your little adapter rings that came with it. First of all, you put the 35 millimeter on the lens. Now, if you have a different millimeter threading, first put the biggest one out of them on that part. Then put the 20 millimeter in the center, or if that's your adapter, then so be it. And then uh, my camera uses the 30 millimeter. So, I go ahead and put that on the bottom. And you see how you get to look a bit longer there? Now, you take a piece of electrical tape and you take it and you put it around here. When you put it like this, 
it sets the lens farther back so the focal length of the lens is going to be farther back and more will get into the shot there also that means you can zoom in a bit more with this because sometimes it will get out of focus way too soon so you got this right and just kind of clean it up a bit there and one long piece I'll do it but when I had done it I took too short a piece so this is how it works out and when you put it on I didn't move the tripod at all and yet it's a lot more fisheye but there's still going to be a bit of a blind spot there along the sides but it will be a lot more fish-eyed and it will look a lot cooler so go out and skate with it thanks for watching Go! Before you go, here's a bit of a zoom test. Now this is long lensed without any sort of the fish islands on it and this is my camera's normal zoom. 40 times optical zoom, which is very good. Now, when I put the enhanced fisheye lens on, you will get to zoom in a lot longer than when you had the original. That would be evening out at around ooh, 20 times optical zoom. So, originally, when you have the 0.7 on, you'd only go to about uh, roughly 5, which sucks but this works a lot better um, although if you don't like it the edges being distorted you, that can't be helped